everyone, this is Ledbetter 17P, and today we have an e-juice review for you guys. We are going to be taking a look at this bottle of e-juice right here. I got this from gotvape.com. Uh, they had sent it along with the uh, the Wolf Mech Mod and RDA uh, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, they sent it with that. So I'm going to take a look at it. It's made by Puff King. Uh, it's one of their brand of juices. Uh, this bottle ranges about $10 online. It's a 15 mil bottle, uh, glass bottle with a dripper. Uh, check them out. It's gotvape.com or you can go puffking.com. I'll put both links in the description below for you guys to check out both sites. Uh, they both got pretty good deals and a lot of good items. Uh, this is the juice right here. It's called Minion Tears. Uh, it's a zero milligram nicotine level. Uh, it's a 30 PG, 70 VG kosher mix, it says. Uh, it says kosher on it. Um, Let's see, what else? Great bottle packaging, great labels. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's got like little gummy bears with minion eyeballs. Kind of like the Despicable Me minions. Got your your dripper, eyedropper dripper. As you can see, right there. Uh, bottle packaging on this is pretty good. Uh, let's see what else. It has, it says 15 mil. Does clearly state what your nicotine level is does clearly, clearly state the uh, the mixture on the bottle and on the back it says base ingredients uh, has a nicotine warning and it also has the California Proposition 65 warning as well and it says please dispose of properly not for sale to minors keep out of the reach of children so they've gone pretty much all the way with their uh, with their bottle packaging the only thing I do not like, and this goes for any company that uses glass bottles, is I've never seen a glass bottle with any kind of a child safety cap. Um, don't get me wrong, I really like glass bottles myself because I do like the, the eyedropper. It's good for um, any RDAs or whatever uh, to drip into the RDA. But um, I would like to see a company invent... A, uh, a child safety version of this eyedropper cap because I mean I can just unscrew that very easily and out it comes and then you can dump it spill it do whatever you want and any little kid gets a hold of that and figures out how to open it it's gonna be all over the place if not you know them drinking it and that's the, that's the last thing that we need uh, as vapors so I would like to see them or any company that has glass bottles to try to fix that issue that's the only issue with the bottle packaging that I have. Uh, we have this loaded up, or we're going to load it up into uh, an RDA. I have the RDA of choice today. Is This is a new one. I haven't reviewed this RDA yet, which I don't think I'm going to, but I picked this RDA up from a friend of mine uh, on the Vapors List Facebook group. So uh, this is the Black uh, Helios RDA and take the top cap off so you can take a look it's got the center block like a uh, plume veil pretty, pretty much the same setup as a plume veil on the inside and instead of Phillips screws it has a tiny little allen wrench which I do not like those um, but I'm pretty sure you can swap those out for regular screws if you have the right size screws uh, I have a coil build in here as you can see, a dual coil, 24 gauge, uh, six rat uh, coils, comes out to uh, 0.21 ohms. So we're gonna go ahead and toss some juice on this real quick, and we'll talk about vapor production and flavor. We'll give those a rating. Uh, I can't remember if I said what the rating was for the bottle packaging, but uh, definitely a 10 out of 10 on their bottle packaging. So we'll go ahead and put a few drops. I mean. It, the wicks are pretty wet anyways, but we'll load it right up again. There we go. Uh, I'm using Japanese organic cotton pads. Uh, I buy them in a big container like this here. This is actually the cotton pads I, I use. Uh, Shiseido facial cotton. They come in uh, little square pads like this and you, you cut strips for your wicks and it works awesome great flavor it's organic 
and everything else. So, all right, we'll toss our top cap back on, make sure our air hole is lined up, and we will give this a vape. Make sure I have a battery in this, I believe I do. Yes, I do. All right, give this a quick vape and we'll talk about vapor production first. Not bad, as you can see, it was a pretty good cloud. Uh, not bad for a, uh, well, it's a higher VG juice, so it's going to have more clouds. Like I said, it's a 30 PG, 70 VG blend. Uh, not, not bad at all. We'll give it one more. My button wasn't working there for a sec. Not bad at all. Good vapor production, in my opinion. Uh, very nice. So I give their vapor production a 10 out of 10 as well. Uh, now flavor, I am hooked on this flavor. Uh, it's called, like I said, it's called Minion Tears. Uh, basically, if you can look at it, it's little gummy bears with, you know, the Minion eyeballs. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably blurry as hell on the camera for you guys, but I apologize for that. But since there's gummy bears on there, you figure it would be a gummy bear flavor. But it's not just all of the gummy bears together. It's actually a red gummy bear flavor, which red gummy bears are my favorite. So I am hooked on this juice. I'm actually thinking about ordering one with nicotine in it so I can have it. But um, it's not bad. Actually, the flavor, actually, we'll give it one more real quick, and then we'll talk about flavor. It tastes just like uh, like gummy bears are melting in your mouth. It's it's a weird way to say it, but that's what it tastes like. It tastes like melted gummy bears in my mouth. It's a great flavor. Uh, it has that like uh, it depends. Like some red gummy bears are strawberry, some are cherry. I want to say this is more of a cherry, uh, but it's a really sugary gummy bear cherry, and it's really really good. Uh, I definitely suggest checking this juice out. I uh, give the flavor a 10 out of 10 as well. So uh, the three ratings we come up with for this video are 10 out of 10 bottle packaging, 10 out of 10 on, well, 10 out of 10 bottle packaging with the exception that I'd like to see companies that use glass bottles figure out a way to put a child's safety on these so the caps are a little bit harder to take off. Uh, let's see, 10 out of 10 on vapor production. I mean, you saw the clouds that I blew and they're, they were pretty decent for my build. Uh, and flavor, a definite 10 out of 10. It's a really awesome flavor. If you like gummy bears, this is the juice for you. This is definitely easily an all-day vape uh, next to my strawberry cheesecake. I've been using this one and that one together. Uh, so there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, check them out, puffking.com and gotvape.com. I'll put both links to that in the description below. And if you want to check out Vapor's List Facebook page, uh, go ahead and check it out. I'm one of the admins on that group. Uh, it's a group for people just to hang out, chit-chat about vape stuff. Uh, people can sell vape stuff there if they want. Uh, and we have a, a good vendors list. We have a, uh, a list of people that you don't want to buy and trade from because they have screwed people over in the past. Uh, we, we protect all of our members as much as possible. And uh, especially when it comes to prices, we try to let people know what's overpriced and what's not, and what's a good deal as well. Uh, it's a no drama group. Uh, the only thing we ask is you be of age. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll put the link to Vapors List uh, Facebook group in the uh, description below as well. And you guys can go ahead and join, and either me or uh, the group owner will accept your request. I'm usually on there most of the time, anyways. Uh, so. I can almost likely be the one accepting your request. So there you guys go. That is the Minion Tears E-Juice review. 10 out of 10 all across the board on all three of them. If you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that like button down below. Leave a comment in the comment section. And uh, if you got any questions, go ahead and ask, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. So once again, this is Leadbetter17P. Keep on vaping.